scroll down here, we can see a bug and carriage on the left hand side. And really, that was kind of it. Back in the day, most people got around with a carriage. And honestly, cars came around to make people's lives way more easier so that they could travel longer and further than a horse or human ever could. So right here, we have the very first combustion engine, or car, I should say. And a combustion engine is what propels a car into motion. And that's what you can kind of see back here. And this has been invented and reinvented by many engineers and scientists over thousands of years. And this is going back as far as the Roman Empire to understand how a crank works to modern day with truly self-driving cars. It's amazing for how fast this has really evolved. But... One thing to consider is who helped make this idea possible. And like I said, there have been many people over a large amount of time that have done very simple things and very complex things to make the automobile and automobile industry more efficient and more effective. But these are just a few that you'll probably know or have some idea of. So right here we've got Thomas Edison, and he was an amazing inventor and actually created the nickel iron battery for automobiles. Over to the right we have Henry Ford and if you're an American you've probably heard his name many times. Uh, he improved the assembly line in America and created the Model T for mass use. And right here I didn't even know about this gentleman uh, but this is Nicholas August Otto and he invented an effective gas motor engine and he also built the very first four-stroke engine and called it the Auto Cycle Engine, after his last name, of course.